everybody, this is Praxis, and I don't know whether I should finish the project that I'm working on right now. I'm setting up to put the filter box down into the ground. I've got the holes already dug here, kind of a scaffold for sitting it on top of. Uh, the process is going to be, and I'm going to show you at the end of the video, I'm going to lift it up really awkwardly, try to drop it in on top there. Uh, and then once it's in there, the, uh, the, these pipes don't go all the way down to the bottom of where I dug. Uh, the point of that is that you want to have gravel around the bottom of the pipes because if you uh, set the pipes uh, directly in concrete or they can't drain, uh, eventually there's going to get the humidity in here. When it gets cold on the pipe, it's going to condense and run down to the bottom. And if it pools, it'll eventually fill up the whole pipe. And then once the water gets up to the area in the winter where there's freeze, it'll freeze and then it'll crack the pipe open. So I need to put gravel at the bottom there. So I don't know whether it's a good idea to do, though, because we've got this... We've got this storm coming in from the west. The forecast today was for rain and thunderstorms, but this morning it's been really nice, so I jumped out here and I got going on this stuff. I'm definitely going to try. I'm, my only question is whether or not it's a good idea to try. I don't know. It may not be a very good idea to try, but it's my personality to give it a try, even if all seems hopeless. All right, so how the hell am I going to do this? This is pretty heavy. It's easy to carry like this, but it's kind of awkward. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, the first problem is that I, I left the cap on here. This thing won't pass through if it's got the cap on there. I'm going to remove the cap. I cut this thing earlier this morning, too, at the right height. It should go about halfway up into the box. Oh, my God, this is awkward. Okay, now nah, it's not that bad. I'm kind of I'm talking it up a little bit. What I don't want to do is knock down the sides of these holes as I put it in. Okay. So far, so good. And it's sliding in. Okay, this may not be the disaster I was thinking about. It may be a disaster later on if a thunderstorm comes in, but for right now, I think it's going to go in. Okay. How are those doing? It's actually, it's kind of a good height right there. I'm going to rotate that a little bit. I think I'll put some extra pads under here and, uh, and hold it up there. I was thinking about setting it down, but I'm looking at my, my depth there, and I'm just above the bottom, like I said I wanted to be, so I can get gravel down under there. And I do want this thing to be high enough, so uh, the air vents are at the bottom here. I don't want snow drifts to cover it up. I don't think any snow drifts going to come from this side, but I was realizing this morning I've got a wall right here, and snow could drift over here, although... That's a, that'd be a pretty darn big snow drift for around here, but, you know, nuclear winter, who knows what's possible. So, yeah, I'm going to put a couple extra pads under there, gravel into the holes, mix some concrete, concrete into the holes, put the dirt back in, hopefully before that storm comes in. That's it. Thanks for watching.